Today, we are talking about camera gear. And what gear you need to start taking incredible shots right now. Let's get started. Oh, here's the intro. Check it out. Welcome back. And that intro though, pretty awesome, right? The, little, the new song and everything. Yeah, looks, looks pretty awesome. But welcome back to the channel. My name is Tech Nick. And you're the best place to learn about photography, cameras, and gear. And today, we're talking about the first five things you need as a photographer right now. Let's get started. So, when you first start out photography, the first question you may ask yourself is, what gear should I buy? From cameras to lenses to tripods, what do I need to start taking incredible shots right now? Well, in this video, I'll show you five things you need in your bag right now from cameras to lenses, all will be discussed in this one video. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need for photography, the first gear you're gonna need is a camera. Right here we have a Canon 7 d a great camera to start doing photography with right now. It's pretty awesome. This camera can shoot 24.2 megapixels, 1080p HD video, and, and it takes amazing photos. Here are a few shots on the screen right now, shot by this camera. Pretty awesome, right? All these are shot by this one camera, the Canon 7 d A great camera, cost between $500 and $600. Pretty awesome, a great beginner camera. I made a video about it, somewhere around here. I don't know where it's gonna be at, but, but you should check it out. Now, gear number two, let's get to it. Okay, for gear number two, we're talking about camera lenses. So this is very important for photography. These are lenses. These are what really makes the image come together. From different focal lengths to different apertures, lenses are very important for photography. It's very vital you have a good lens for your photos. From different lenses to different focal lengths can make or break a photo. Right here I have a Canon 50 millimeter lens. This lens is pretty awesome. It has a really big aperture. It has a 1.4 aperture, which means lots of light. This lens is really great for any beginner. This has a great aperture, a, a great focal length for anybody from very close up portraits or some landscapes or even some little product photography. This guy is amazing. This is my go-to lens for quick shots and it's made out of plastic. So throw this around, toss it up, it'll be just fine. Okay, and, and I made a video about it too. Link in bio, check it out. It's pretty awesome, all about this one amazing lens. Pretty great video. You should go watch, it's pretty awesome. Now, gear number three. Okay, for gear number three, we're talking about tripods. The thing about a tripod is the composition. This guy can help you make a great photo with a great composition. All from these three legs. Pretty awesome. And one of the best things about a tripod is it can extend from a very short, small stance to a very long, long stance, okay? The best tip about a tripod is you wanna get one that's always taller than you. Okay, if you're like 6'1", 6'2", get one that's eight feet, okay? If you're 5'4", get one that's 6'1". You wanna have a tripod that's bigger than you. Why? Because those extra three inches will come in handy one day. And it's really great for sunset shots like this one. Pretty awesome, right? With me using this tripod, perfect tool for photographers. Now, gear number four. Okay, for gear number four, we're talking about SD cards. SD cards are very, very vital and the most underrated tool in photography. These guys are very important. Why? Because they capture everything in your moment from photos to videos to sound. These guys capture everything in this one little flat little card. That's pretty awesome. And the most important thing with SD cards is to get one that has a lot of storage. From 100 gigs to 128 gigs, these guys are very important for your photos. You cannot be on the field and run out of space and like, oh no, what am I gonna do? I need to go home and dump this card. Give me like five minutes. No, you need to have multiple SD cards in your bag, your wallet, your backpack, whatever you have. Carry around SD cards like cash. It's very important for photography. You cannot be on the field without an SD card. It's heartbreaking. We had that awesome shot, that awesome sunset, and you had an SD card. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Ask your friend for one? He doesn't have one. He's shooting his own pictures. What are you doing? You're going around town, going around the desert, and you have no SD card? What What are you doing? Why are you here? Get an SD card. That's gear number four. Now, gear number five. Okay, now for gear number five. But if you're enjoying the content and the helpful tools, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more awesome tips and photography tutorials on the way. Now, gear number five. Let's get started. For gear number five, we we're talking about camera bag. All right, so these are camera bags. Camera bags are very, very great. These are a lifesaver for your photos and your gear. It's pretty awesome. Let me tell you more about it. So the main reason you might get a camera bag is 
pretty obvious to hold all your gear. This right here is the Low Pro bag. This guy is pretty awesome. This is my go-to bag for like years now. I had this bag since I started photography. This guy carries all my gear on every photo shoot. It's pretty awesome. And the best thing about this bag is durable. This guy can protect your gear all the time. This guy is pretty awesome. It carries my drones, my cameras, my lenses, my MacBook. All this fits in this one bag. That's pretty awesome. Look at this bag. It's pretty awesome. It's durable. A little matte black. All the orange little tags right there. Low pro signature right there. Pretty awesome. Ain't like a, like a Ninja Turtle half shell going on right here. It's pretty awesome. But what you don't want to do is get a a, a, a regular backpack like this like this guy this this is garbage okay I would I hope to never see you walking around the city with a backpack like this this is pure trash I don't know what you're doing with your thousands of dollars of camera gear in this bag this, look at this why you want to get a bag like this this is why yeah yeah your gear is not protected this has no ceiling no no Nothing. This is. What are you doing with this? I have seen so many people with cameras, thousands of dollars a year, rocking around, shaking around this bag. What is this? It looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, sure. It looks great. It matches your outfit. Great. It matches your shoes. Looks nice. But this will not protect you. This will not protect your gear. This is garbage. And why would you put all that in a 10 dollars backpack? Don't do that. Don't be that guy. Don't be that person in the world, in the photographer world, in the photography Instagram world. Don't be out there with a bag like that. That will be the worst regret you ever have in photography. Buy a seal proof, waterproof, durable bag like this, like this, or like this guy. This is one of my favorites too. This is pretty awesome. Those are bags. That's gear number five. Now, a little bonus feature. All right. Those are my top five gear that you should have in your photography kit right now. This will help you start photography right, right now. But there's one more thing, one more gear, one more item you have in your bag right now. This guy right here, one sec. These guys right here, lightsabers. There's no joke, I love my Red Bull. Delicious, healthy, kinda, but, but, they're a lightsaber. Why? We're out in the field 10 hours all day long, from beginning to dusk, you're tired. You're about to fall asleep. You're falling asleep at the wheel. But, but, you pop up on one of these guys. Listen to that sound. That is pure energy in a can. These guys are amazing. Love it. Peach flavor, definitely try it out. I love these guys. All right, that is my top five things you need for photography right now, from cameras to lenses to tripods to Red Bulls. These are my top five things you should have in your bag and start photography with right now. They're pretty awesome, pretty helpful tools. The Red Bull is delicious. Try one of them out right now. But that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel for more photography tips and tutorials on the way in. And you should go watch one of our past videos, our past tutorials, like this one right here. This one's really good. This one is really good. You should go watch it. You know what? Just tap it. Just tap it. Tap it. If you're done, just tap it. It's really good. I'm, I'm not I'm not joking you. It's pretty awesome. It's a great video. You should watch this video. Watch it. Enjoy it. Just, just like it. Watch it. Watch it. Just go watch it right now. Go watch it. Okay. Bye.